now, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for my guest? We want to take pride on Church and Show for hosting all the international people that come here. Personalities, media personalities, footballers, artists, and everybody. And so, exclusively on Church and Show, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a legendary footballer. Before Watu Hawa wa College Wajue, team we are Senali Likuaje, Wazito wa Senali, they knew about this guy. And I want you Kenyans to show your love for the legendary footballer, one and only, So Campbell! <laughs> All good. Niaje Njoro. English, please, English. You know, you're supposed to say Niaje. Niaje. And then you tell them, Moroiga Atia. Moroiga Aka. Aya. So let's sit there so we can go and have our interview on those seats. No, sit here. This one is bigger. <laughs> With your size, this is home. Hey, so come, ladies and gentlemen. My guy, my goodness, my goodness. So come, I'm in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what brings you to Kenya? Uh, well, the love of Kenya. Is this your first time in Kenya? First time in Kenya. I've been to other African countries, but it's the first time. It's a virgin trip for me. I, I remember watching you. I remember watching you playing. I can't remember watching I, myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching you, and I tell you, you, you're one defender that we will live to remember in the EPL. So, uh, when did you start playing football? I started... Uh, from the streets, playing football. I just wanted to be, I, actually, I, in the beginning, I didn't want to be a footballer. I just huh? loved competing. I just loved football, I love sport. And um, I know it's a bit strange for people to, to hear that, but I just enjoyed competing. Are you originally from England? Yeah, my family's from Jamaica, but everyone is from Africa. Yeah. Hard. Everyone. But I'm from East London, Plaster. I don't know if anyone has heard of that place. Stratford, where the Olympics were, was. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The last time Arsenal won the Premier League is when you were there in 2004. What's happening with that club? We are hurting. <laughs> everyone is hurting. All Arsenal fans are hurting. But you know, you, only one person can win. We've come close. This year was difficult. But I'm sure the time will come again. Do you think Leicester City was lucky or they, they are a good team? For me, Leicester, you know, you have to congratulate them because they kept on going. They had a very small squad. I think one side which they were lucky, it was injuries. You know, they such a small squad and hardly any injuries. And that's uh, very, very unusual. Or they must have a fantastic physio. All right, so if you are not playing football, what else would you be doing? Uh, I travel. I've got a design business with my wife in London. We uh, make high-end furniture. And we, we design hotels, restaurants, houses. You design hotels? Uh, yeah. You're yeah. an architect? Uh, internally, yeah. Okay. So more my wife, but I'm part of the business. So to do that, I've just passed my pro license so I can coach uh, any level around the world now. Just you're a coach week. now? Well, I just passed. You just, you're a coach? Yeah, I come to Kenya and coach some players. Arambe Stars, how are you? Yeah, so Campbell, Arambe Stars coach to an Itakwaje. Yeah. So, uh, uh, England, national football team. Do you want to be the coach there? Uh, who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Campbell, for sure. Waki kukata. Just read my lips. Waki kukata. Qatar. Waki kukata. Not. Is, are you saying be the manager at Qatar? World Cup. <laughs> 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 
Waki kukata. Waki kukata. Yes. Kuya Kenya. Kuya Kenya. Hey, kuya tena. <laughs> I tell you, you're talking like us. We just, ah, we feel like our brother is back home. Kuya, kuya mutiso eba. Ando kama ne kuya. Mondo tu. Biwo. Muti ende te kambeo. What's the initiative that you're going to have around here in Kenya? Well, they have started a collaboration with Arsenal, um, starting the clinics, uh, football clinics, coaching, um, allowing coaches to coach in the Arsenal way, which is fantastic, identifying young talent, which is crucial for uh, Kenya to improve their team, to improve their national team as well. So, so and ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite the CEO of Sport Pesa, who came uh, so he can tell us about the initiative. Let's appreciate the CEO of Sport Pesa. <laughs> karibu, karibu, Apa. <laughs> yes, sir. sasa <laughs> Kenya. Talent identification. Yes. Because that's one thing we've been missing in Kenya. That's why we've had, always had old players playing for the team. So that's why we are starting from the beginning. Show our coaches how they can identify the talent. Then we get the talent. I think the next time Sol Campbell will be coming, he'll, he'll not be training the coaches, but we'll have a team of young players. Then hopefully we'll have a team which will participate in the World Cup in 2022. That's your plan. Definitely. Yeah. And even from the club uh, partnership with Arsenal, for example, mm -hmm. those are the things that they'll transfer as well. So that all the structures in football are in place so that we can compete. The talent is there. And so when we leave our show, obviously, I know you're tired, but uh, we want to welcome you home. I don't know, Kama Kuna Kawimba Tutacheza Kazuri. Do you know how to dance, Okambo? Do you know how to dance? Depends what kind of dancing. Well, Africa, we know how to dance. DJ E, you got something for Joe Kampo? <laughs> Do you know how to move with the beat? Come on, Basta move. Let's see whether you are truly African. How oh, African? Is that it? Akisi Amekana Wazungu. Hey! Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, so come back! Once African, always African. In my book of how to deal with hard times. Wanaume usha gudua ukio kobafu na simu meyacha po komeza. Suddenly bibi ako na acha kuwa bibi anaza kuwa secretary. Anagalia rekodi za in and out, in and out. Nigali.